Hello viewers, this is your Michael from Screview for you my 489 podcast. This is my 489 podcast. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to preach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any other feedback as well. So, so, if, so, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change to adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change to adult language. Now, if you're over 18, then you should get to watch this audio podcast recording. So, anyway... So anyway, let's get to the top of this up this up this topic. Oh my god, I love Harley Quinn season two. I gotta say, I really love the second season of Harley Quinn season two. This is you know, this was a, this was a good second episode of the hit DC already cartoon series about Harley Quinn. So basically, it had the jokes were on point. It has some good action. And, and plus, and plus, all oh, it has some good character development and good and good lessons and good uh, and, and, and some very good lessons as well, and also some very good character development. So basically, you know, don't get me wrong. Don't uh, don't get me wrong here. Here, I like the I like the I like the I like I like the act. The comedy, comedy of how to quit, but um, overall, I really liked the message, uh, the very important lesson, uh, like the very important lessons that Harley and Harley and her gang, and her gang, you know, learn on their way, uh, learn it in season two. So basically, you know, so basically, the the main message, message and lesson for season two is the, it's about about choices, consequences, and and, and figure out what you want. So basically, what I mean by that is, well, you know, that every time, you know, like you know, whatever choice that you make, well, or, or, you be beware, beware it might be some consequences. It might be some consequences to go, to go wherever wherever choice you make. So basically, the whole so basically like so basically this so basically like you know this whole situation is about a Harley making choices that you uh, uh, making uh, making choices that you know, that has some serious conflict that uh, has some serious con- consequences too. So basically, you know, you know, she had. Like she had the opportunity to go off them, got them, you know, got them, you know, instead of you know, instead of just you know, or being the being the ruler of got of the city, she, she was like you know, her, she decided not, and she 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 decided not to, and just let everything just go to hell, and therefore she suffered the consequences with. with for that. So basically, and so basically, you know, she had Hardy could have the opportunity to rule Gotham twice, and she suffered the consequences for those uh, for not for not you know taking you know not taking you know taking. For the consequences for the actions for not taking over Gotham when she had a chance to. So basically, Hardy really learned something. Hardy, Hardy really learned something to. Hardy really learned something in this second season. Like, you know, her con, her reckless, her reckless, her being reckless, her reckless choices do have some, will have, will have some, will have consequences towards, towards her and her, and her towards her and her friends. Uh, so basically how we would learn something today and plus and that and plus they were the Harley say that, you know, oh only reason why I wanted to you know, like only reason why I wanted to uh, uh, wanted to uh, wanted to uh, wanted to join the listener to do in the first place is to you know to piss off the joker. So basically I I've been doing this through, I've been doing all these fucked up things to try what you know, what you know, what you know, without you know, what number one, I really want. So basically, 
So basically, like, you know, he said, like, you know, so they have to know what the point of, uh, you know, doing all these shit to do all these fucked up things, you know, is I don't know what, what I really want. So, and plus, I mean, uh, I, it probably, I think has some good character about it as well. She starts to open up more about her feelings and whatnot. Gordy had had some good character feelings as well. So basically, I think that one of the best episodes when when Gordon when Gordon was at his lowest his lowest his, you know he looked at his daughter's eye when she that she was back there and it's like you know she was just like you know like you know just looking at him. Just looking at her dad, you know, jicking himself to death and shit like that, and that's when the moment when he was at his lowest, uh, uh, the way he, uh, the way with that barber, his, his daughter was looking at him, like, like you know, he finally decided to get his shit together, like you know, and stop drinking. So basically, like you know, that was one of that's one of the good episodes as well. But that was a very good episode as well, when Gordon, like, you know, some, when Gordon is like, you know, fuck, you know, like, realize that, you know, I'm a fucking alcoholic, you know, I need to make a change, so basically that was a very good episode as well. I, I like the episode, I like the episode with King Shark, who, 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 who like, stood up to his parents and whatnot, you know, and, t and told them off, but, you know, he did went through with the marriage, but, you know, he did went through with the arranged marriage and whatnot, but you know, but he, but it, it was his choice because he know he, he like you know he he finds stuff to for his family and whatnot, but he know that you know if he doesn't like you know he chose to go through marriage to keep the truth between his between between his parents and another wife family and whatnot. So basically, you know, King Shop has some good. Character to balance it, you know. Even Kite Man had some fucking. I didn't like it, Kite Man in the series. In the series, so basically, like you know, like you know, I think Kite Man has some good, good, good. Kite Man has some good, uh, has some real good character to balance it in, in this uh, in this season as well. Kite Man really, like you know, Kite Man was like you know, like you know, Kite who really Kite Man did to me. Kind of what they used to in this season. In fact, you know, but I really like the end. Uh, the end. Uh, I really like the, the final episode of season two where kind of uh, like you know, I tried to get uh, to you the benefit of the doubt without Ivy, but you know, it's obvious that you're not in love with me. So basically, it's obviously you're not in love with me. You just did not. You just deny who you really in love with. Who you really in love with. So basically, that we like you know that that moment right there when Kite Man told, told Ivy that you know like you know I love you Ivy but you know but you're just not really in love with me you did you in love with Harley and you just too and you just too stubborn to realize that so basically like Kite Man say I you know I always will love you but you know I deserve better than, than you so basically a lot of people a lot of people thought that you know the final episode that you know. That that a post ID will finally you know, break it off the tight man after after the murder, but it was tight man who broke her who broke off the ID at the word at the you know, at the wedding, at the wedding in the final episode. So basically, big ups to Kite Man. Now that asshole mental, I mean, it's Dr. Psycho, that asshole, at the, all the things that Harley did to, uh, to you know, at the all the things that, you know, at the all the, uh, at the, all the things that uh, Harley helped him out with, you know, when he was at his lowest key, or want to do a fuck over like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, what it, it is, what it is. So basically, you know, uh, you know, mental. I really hope that mental really gets his and whatnot. <laughs> really help get his at the end, you know, in the third season. But you know, and plus, I wish that Crayface would have had an episode of him, you know. <laughs> 
you know, getting some characters abandoned and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is. But anybody else was, oh, other characters, including Batman, learned, even Batman learned a very important lesson because, you know, he can't get, he can't just say, he say Gotham City by himself. So basically, that's always been Batman. That's always been Batman. Like, you know, what is Batman's greatest weakness? Is he thinking that, you know, because he, uh, Cause he can, uh, you know, he always thinks that, you know, he he's better off, uh, he's better off doing things by himself. But you know, sometimes you need help to, or uh, sometimes you do need help to help to you do need help. So basically, in that Batman episode of the, of the second season, you know, Batman learned a very good lesson that you know sometimes you sometimes you do need help to the uh, order to fix things. So basically, Batman learned. A very important, a very important lesson as well. So anyway, so anyway, I got nothing fucking bad to say. I love this second season of Harley Quinn. So basically, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you know, I can't wait to see the third season. But the, I can't wait to see the third season and see how, how, how you know, how Harley and the Ivy the relationship evolves in the third season of in the third season. But anyway, what do you guys think about this? So anyway, what do you guys think about the second season of Harley Quinn? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it just okay? Please let me know what the comments below this podcast. So anyway, this is Cynthia Michaels from Screen View. So one.